What's up guys, Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to use x uh for Modern Warfare 2. It's a very specific video because I had a request made to me. Um, first things first, I want everyone to understand before they think um, that this video is flawed for whatever reason. I have gaming peripherals guys and so my games are going to be mapped with different keys, not the default key. So if you guys do use this video as a guide for x -Patter. keep that in mind, okay, because I map everything on my gaming peripherals in alphabetical order, and then I know in every single game what action is going to be what, as opposed to there being subtle differences in every game that comes out. I go A through Z from left to right, uh, minus W, A, S, and D, obviously, because those are your movement keys, and that's it, guys, okay? Um, also, you're going to see later that I map grenade throws to mouse 4. That's because my uh, mouse button here on the side is what I used to throw grenades. Um, but without further ado, so what you're going to need is a program called XPatter. I'm going to leave descriptions uh, below along with download links, guys, so you can go directly to it. All right. And I'm, I already have it mapped here, guys, but I'm going to start it from scratch so that you can see exactly what I did. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to um, New. Okay, right there. And start mapping right so going back to the pictures and the screenshots rather that I took earlier um, you can see here how I have everything mapped now before you start um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and download this bitmap right here that I'm leaving the link to in the description below and then you're gonna go ahead when you first push this you're gonna say new right and this is where you would accept the image so then you go and you open it okay so wherever you download it double click it and there it is all right go down to sticks enable both of them okay push it's gonna say push stick one left so I did it push stick one up so I did it enable the right stick push left did it up did it bam put them where they belong okay then you move on to the d-pad enable that it's gonna tell you to push up so push whatever it tells you up, down, left, right. Move that to where it belongs. Buttons. Okay, you're gonna add. So push them as do it one at a time so that you can know which button is which. So here's A. I pushed it and that appeared. B. Pushed it and that appeared. Y. I pushed it and that appeared. X. Pushed it and that appeared. The start button. That goes there. The back button. That goes there. Left bumper. Go up here by the left bumper. Right bumper. Up here by the left bumper. And be careful not to drag the wrong one. Then do not forget the L3 and R3, guys. So you push down on the left joystick, and that appears. And the right joystick push it down. That's R3, and that appears. Don't forget those because you're definitely going to need them. Okay. When you're done with that, you go to triggers. Push the. Uh, first, I'm sorry. First, you enable it. Then hold the left trigger, hold the right trigger. And there, those are the only ones that appear directly over the buttons that they are. After you're done with that, select OK. Okay. Um, now this is where you start mapping. So looking at how I have everything and the way that I play, and if you guys don't like the way I map things out or you don't want to change your game layout to these buttons, use whatever you want and then put them on the x uh software accordingly. Okay. Um, so left trigger is going to be... Oops. So left trigger is going to be right mouse. Right trigger is going to be left mouse. Okay. Right bumper is going to be for grenade. For me, that's mouse four. But if you want to change it to G or something like that, because this one's not used in the way that I like, you can do that too. Um, I'll use the letter N for that. The left bumper, which is to use and interact with stuff. This guys, I use as shift um, because. I use that especially just to go directly to prone as opposed to as opposed to having to hold it down because uh, I hate that. I just use uh, left shift and it goes directly to the ground. And then you just push A or crouch if you want to crouch or get back up. Start is the escape because that's pause. Now the D-pad, um, make sure that you guys use these and not these because this is a different input than this. So if you assign it to this, it'll be number pad one instead of number one, and that's not what the game likes. And if you want to change it to the number pad ones, you'd have to change it in the game first and then map them on X pattern accordingly. Okay? This is obviously the walking W A 
D, S, and then this is going to be sprint, which for me is L, if you look at the pictures in the back. X is reload, and I use the letter F for that. Changing weapons is Y, so mouse scroll up. Crouch for me is E, so it's going to be B. And jump is a space bar, of course. Now, this is your mouse, in essence, right? The left joystick to look around. So you want to map this to mouse movement, so up is up. Right is right. Down is down. Left is left. Now, if you do uh, use inverse, guys, and you like to use inverse, you can just go in the game and select the mouse to be inverted, simply. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just switch up and down and do that accordingly to however you like. Okay. Melee is H for me, and that's the button you use, the R3 for Melee and Modern Warfare anyway. And then that's it, guys. All you got to do from here is save as. So I'm going to save as. I already have Modern Warfare. So I'm just going to call this Modern Warfare 2 Redo because I'm doing it uh, again and I don't want it to over save or, or wipe the other one out. Just This is more of a test one. So I'm going to save it and then exit. And then in the next uh, transitional video, you guys are going to see me actually playing the game in real time with a camera overlay with the uh, Xbox 360 controller playing Modern Warfare 2. So I will see you in a minute. Show me what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so if you look in the upper right hand corner, you see I'm actually playing the game which has no controller support with the controller. Um, when you launch the game, ensure that x Pattern has been launched and that your profile for Modern Warfare 2 is selected. It should have a check mark or something like that. Um, but other than that guys, uh, it works flawlessly. Um, the, my sensitivity in turning is really slow because I didn't adjust it. Um, rightfully so because I'm not going to use the controller after this video anyway, nor did I upload a super uh, 1440p usual quality video because this is just for demonstration purposes. But if anything else guys, feel free to uh, ask. If there's any questions, please subscribe and like if you like the video. Thank you very, very much.